Hello friends, I'm grateful that we are here again talking about CAPSIM and COMPEXEM. I believe you are doing alright wherever you are. And despite the challenges, I hope you are ready to learn something new or add knowledge about COMPEXEM. So in today's video, we are going to talk about COMPEXEM Basics. This is a version of COMPEXEM that is highly related to CAPSIM competition round. It even shares similar market segments names with CAPSIM competition. That is traditional low-end, high-end performance and size segments. Without further deviation from the topic, let us begin making decision for round one. So we are going to start with total quality management, commonly known as TKM. The basics of making TKM decision is very simple. You will spend more than 1.5 million per each strategy in a given round, and there is no additional benefit when you spend more than 4 million. So in that case, we will spend 1.3 million per each strategy in round one. The effect of this spending include reduction in research and development cycle time, material cost, labor cost, and increase in demand. Now, let us go to research and development. The goal here is to produce products that meet customer buying criteria and also to make something unique, especially in high-end and performance market segments. That means having higher performance and smaller size when compared to competitors. On that note, let us begin with product ABLE, which is a product under traditional market segment. In research development, we can control three aspects of customer buying criteria, that is, ideal position, age, and maintain before failure. For a product in traditional market segment, an ideal age is two years. Getting exact two years is not easier, but having something greater than 1.5 years and less than 2.5 years is great. We also want the best product to come out not later than September 30th to provide the product enough time to sell. Based on that, without providing able with performance of 8.5 and size of 12.3 will be enough to enable it to have an age of 1.7 years at the end of the year, which is not too far from the ideal position. Besides, we maintain a mean time before failure of 17,500, although 19,000 is the best for this segment. The reason for choosing to maintain at 17,500 was based on the fact that high mean time before failure means high material cost. The choices selected promise that a refined able will hit the market by 9th September 2021. For products in low end market segments, the ideal age is 7 years. Age is the second most important element of customer buying criteria in this segment. Therefore, as long as the product is within perception map of low end market segment, the product should be left to age to attain 7 years. For that case, we maintain a performance of 4.3 and size of 16.3 for product acre. We expected it to have an age of 6.0 at the end of the year. The ideal mean time before failure is between 12,000 and 17,000. We maintain it at 14,000. For high-end product, ideal position is the most important aspect. Age of zero years is the second most important, and maintain before failure between 20,000 and 25,000 is the third important aspect. Therefore, a sensor in high-end market segment need to be revised frequently to give it a newer look. Based on that, in round one, we provided Adam with performance of 13.3 size of 6.7 and mean time before failure of 23,000. At the end of the year, we expected Adam to have an age of 0 0.7, which is not too far from zero. For sensors in performance market segment, mean time before failure of between 22,000 and 27,000 is the most important customer buying criteria. Ideal position comes second. To give customer the best, we provided them with sensor having performance of 14.9 and size of 12.9. We also provided them with sensor with mean time before failure of 25,000. For size market segment, ideal position is the most important aspect of customer buying criteria. Age of 1.5 years can seconds and mean time before failure of between 16,000 and 21,000 comes third. Based on these aspects, we provided Agape with performance of 7.6 and size of 6.2. We also provided it with mean time before failure of 19,000. At the end of the year, we expected it to have an age of 1.1, which is not too far from the ideal age. 
We also introduced two products in the size and high end market segments. The reason for choosing these two segments is because they do not require capacity or high automation to make profits. Besides, there's little competition in size market segments. For size, we introduced product icon. We provided it with performance of 9.2 and size of 4.6. We also provided it with mean time before failure of 21,000. We expected it to hit the market by August 2022. For high end, we introduced product always. We provided it with performance of 15.0 and size of 5.0. The mean time before failure was 25,000. We expected it to hit the market by September 2022. Marketing. Uh, under marketing, let us start with promotion. Marketing in this simulation is quite different. There are different strategies that work differently in different market segments. There is also a limit on of how much units of each strategy you can use. Print media work based on traditional low-end and size market segments. You can spend maximum of 700,000 per each strategy. There is no additional benefit of spending more. Direct mail on the other hand works well in traditional low-end and high-end. Web media and email works well for high-end performance and size. Finally, trade fair works fairly on traditional low end and performance. Uh, for sales decision making, uh, it also have differences compared to other exam decision makings. So, for traditional high sales performance can be obtained through utilization of distributors. Inside sales will give moderate result, while outside sales can only give low result. Based on that, we last with distributors, the maximum you can have, 10 inside sales, maximum is 30, and 3 outside sales, where maximum is 12. For low end, good performance can be obtained from distributors, while moderate can be obtained from outside sales. Therefore, we used 15 distributors, 6 outside sales, and 2 inside sales. For high end, outside sales offer the best result, while inside sales offer moderate result. Distribution is poor for high end. Therefore, in this case, we utilized 12 outside sales, 23 inside sales, and 2 distributors. For performance segments, inside sales offer the best result, followed by inside sales. Therefore, we utilized 30 inside sales, 6 outside sales, and 2 distributors for aft. For size segments, outside sales offer the best results, inside sales offer moderate results. Based on that, we offer the GAP 12 outside sales, 20 inside sales, and 3 distributors. We also allocated each product 20% of the time. Price and forecasting. The way we forecast amount to sell is very simple. We take the amount we sold last year and add growth to it and subtract inventory. Based on this method, we estimated to sell about 1,100 units of Ebola, 1,600 units of Eka, 700 units of Adam, 1,100 units of Aft, and 900 units of Agape. For Ebola, a product and a traditional market segment, without reducing the price to $27.5, will assist us to increase sales margin a little higher. For Eka, we also reduce the price to $20. The reason being that customer in low end market segment and traditional market segment are mostly concerned about prices and they are less likely to accept higher priced commodity. Besides, the competition is very stiff and those with the lowest price mostly win. For Adam, a product in high-end market segments, pricing is not that important. Therefore, we only reduce the price slightly to $37.5. For Apps and Agape, we charge $32.5 in this case. Although prices are not that important, it has some weight that must always be considered for competitive advantage. Production Let us start with product Able. This product has inventory of 239 units. Our estimate is 1,100. Therefore, if we sell more than 1,100, the inventory, the 239 inventory units will help us not to stock out. Since we want to get points on plant utilization, we must reduce the capacity for able. Besides, we are only selling about 1,200 currently. Therefore, 
it will take several rounds to reach 2000 units. There's no need to have capacity of 1400 units. That's why we are selling 400 units worth of capacity. We are also increasing its automation to 8.0. The reason being that this segment is highly competitive and to remain profitable, you have to find ways to cut down cost as much as possible. Increasing automation reduces labor cost. For Eka, we have inventory of 900 units, which is huge. We had estimated to sell 1,600 units. Therefore, we only need to produce 700 units. There is a chance that we will sell more than 1,600 units. We don't want to stock out, and that's why we have 850 instead of 700 units. Eka is a low-end market segment product. To get the best out of it, we must lower the cost of production as much as possible. That's why we increase automation level to 9. For product Adam, we have inventory of 232 units. We estimated to sell 700 units. Therefore, we needed only 468 units. However, we do not want to stock out, and that's why we produce 580 units. Currently, we are only selling about 700 units, but we do not need 900 unit capacity. That's why we sold 300 of Adam capacity. For Aft, a product in performance segments has an inventory of 241 units. We estimated to sell 1,100 units of aft product. We still produce more than what we projected to have a safety stock. For aft, it is really difficult to get high contribution margin due to high material cost. Here, price is also a competitive factor. That's why we considered increasing automation for this product to cut down labor cost to increase contribution margin from next round. For Agape, a product in size segment have an inventory of 330 units. We estimated to sell about 900 units. However, our production schedule and inventory is more than 900 for the same reason, not to stock out. We also increase automation to 3.5 to lower down labor cost. Finance. Finance allows one to control days of working capital, pay for expenditure and avoid getting emergency loans. To ensure you do not have emergency loan, make sure you do not overestimate sales and also ensure the cash position as at 31st December of current year is at least 3000. To do that, you can either borrow long term debt, short term debt or issue stock. Currently, we can only issue stock or long term debt since we are trying to raise our days of working capital. In short, we do not have enough liquid cash to meet current obligation. Based on that, we issued 9000 worth of stock and 29,902 of long term debt. That's all for today. Hope it was really enjoyable and educative. We have a wide range of videos. Some are here on YouTube and some will be uploading soon. Kindly do not forget to like and subscribe never to miss out.